नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू द फाइनल पार्ट नंबर थ्री ऑफ द प्रूफ दिस इज इन फैक्ट द क्लाइमैक्स पार्ट कंबाइनिंग कॉन्सेप्ट वन एंड टू ऑफ डिविजन लेट एस ट्राई टू एनालाइज द नेचुरल नंबर क्यू विच इज पी प्लस वन शेल वी डू दैट फ्रेंड्स okay so we have p is equal to p1 into p2 into p3 into etc into pk and the product is clearly a composite number and we have the next consecutive natural number q which is equal to uh, p plus 1 okay we are trying to understand q so q can be there are two cases are there case 1 and case 2 case 1 is it can be a prime number or it can be a composite number do you know why a q can be a prime number because of uh, the concept number 1 please recall concept number 1 which states that if f divides p then f cannot divide p plus 1 or p minus 1 so we have q is not divisible by any one of the prime numbers under our consideration so this is case number 1 case number 2 is this so if it is not a prime number it has to be a concept number 2 because of a concept number 2 please recall concept number 2 also that is if if n if the natural number n is not divisible by a prime number then it can be a prime number or it can be a con a, a composite number okay so these are the two cases we have uh, can there be any other cases other than the two above cases if there are any please think friends okay now let us consider case number 1 so we have found out that q is such a prime number which is not divisible by any of the prime numbers under our set so we can now say that there is at least there is at least one more prime number q that is not found in our list okay this is a contradiction to our assumption so so we conclude that the set of prime numbers is infinite only q e d hence prove so okay so when it is a prime number which is not divisible by any of the prime numbers under consideration we can definitely infer that there exists one more prime number other than the number the prime numbers under consideration so this is case number 1 majority of mathematicians will stop the proof here only as it is proved beyond doubt from case 1 that the set of primes is infinite okay and don't consider case 2 at all they say the case is dismissed once for all and so there is no need to consider case 2 out of curiosity let us consider case 2 and see how arguments are placed and get some more knowledge in fact arguments of case 2 is equally very very interesting so we will go to case number 2 now let us suppose that q is a composite number okay in such a case some prime factors of p should divide this composite number q do you know the reason because a the fundamental theorem of arithmetic which states that a composite number can be decomposed into prime factors in a unique way so since q is a composite number it has to be divisible by some prime numbers only but none of the prime numbers under our consideration is unable to divide this composite number q so we have seen that none of the prime factors of p cannot divide q because of 
please recall concept number one in such a case we are violating the fundamental theorem of arithmetic so if we again come to the conclusion that there must exist prime factors other than the primes under our consideration which can definitely divide q so this contradicts our assumption so once again we conclude that the set of primes is infinite only q e d quad error demonstrand that is the proof for the uh, uh, the uh, theorem which states that the prime numbers in the set of natural numbers are infinite only okay so some more informations uh, regarding this so from all these evidences we can say that for every uh, uh, prime list of uh, a finite list of prime numbers there is a prime number not in the list so hence there must be infinitely many many prime numbers are there so hence it is true okay now we can write down the algorithm for whatever proof we have written down so first we consider that these are the only finite prime numbers in the set of natural numbers then we took the product of the finite prime numbers and called it as p okay this is one idea he made and then the next idea is so p has to be a composite number because the product of finite primes is nothing but a composite number to this number we added one and got the next consecutive natural number so this q can has has two possibilities it can be a prime number or if it is not a prime number it has to be a composite number so in both the cases we saw the contradiction if it is prime or composite in both the cases we got contradiction hence we conclude that the assumption that the number of primes is finite is totally wrong and it has to be an infinite prime number set only so this is the algorithm for the uh, proof okay excellent you know very nice okay now um, there is one source uh, called challenge and thrill of pre college mathematics written by four eminent scholars of iasc and ia and tifr please krishnamurthy pranishachar ranganathan and ventachala sir so these people have written an excellent book called challenge and thrill of pre college mathematics i am going to produce an extract of the proof the, 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 for the same theorem from this book from chapter number 2 arithmetic of integers example number 2 for the fundamental theorem of arithmetic so they have written like this suppose the number of primes in n is finite let p1 p2 etc pk b the set of primes in n such that p1 is less than p2 p2 is less than p p3 etc and lesser than pk now consider n which is equal to 1 plus this p1 into p2 into into etc into pk clearly n is not divisible by any one of p1 p2 etc pk hence n itself is a prime or n has a prime divisors other than p1 p2 etc pk so this contradicts that the set of primes is p1 p2 etc pk therefore the number of primes in n is infinite so in such a short sentences they have written the entire proof this one i have tried to elaborate it and produce in front of you so euclid in volume number 9 proposition number 20 he has written the same theorem like this the set of all prime numbers is more numerous than any assigned multitude of prime numbers this is how he has written this theorem so the set of all prime numbers is more numerous um, than any assigned multitude of prime numbers this is how he has written in his book multitude means a large number of things okay this is how he has presented himself in his volume number 9 proposition number 20 
the proof whatever we have seen is the recent version with algebraic treatment of uh, euclid's uh, uh, proof okay now uh, euclid has used the uh, concept of uh, uh, line segment measure and unit in order to prove this using geometry concepts only he has tried to prove this theorem it is definitely worth going through it also i request all of you to find out the proof written by him okay so hope uh, you have enjoyed the three videos thanks for watching namaste friends namaste okay Namaste friends.